Sarah, does this mean that the Royals might be looking for a new hospital? Well, it's certainly not good, is it, for the reputation of the London Clinic, which prides itself on having the utmost discretion because its client list is, you know, the top of the VIPs, you know, former presidents, Elizabeth Taylor, you know, Hollywood stars and members of the royal family. It is also, of course, where King Charles uh, received his treatment for uh, benign and large prostate. We had a statement yesterday from the CEO of the London Clinic uh, saying that they took the privacy uh, and confidentiality of all patients extremely seriously and all the processes are in place and investigations are underway. And we know uh, that the data watchdog, the Information Commissioner's Office, is now looking into this. There are questions this morning about how quickly the London Clinic informed the Information Commissioner's Office about this potential data breach. There is a duty to do so within 72 hours. There are some reports that it was not done for a week. There will be an investigation into whether the hospital was at fault by not having the proper processes in place or whether this was just one bad egg. It's really interesting when you think that, that she was in the same hospital as her father-in-law, the King, mm. and nobody went near his records. We were talking about this earlier. Mm. I mean, I, this still blows my mind. Piers wrote about it in The Sun today. Mm. He said the levels, especially in America, of interest in Catherine, even dwarf, and rem would remind him entirely of Diana. Yes. It's extraordinary, the interest, and thus... You know, I, I, I thought it was quite interesting, the timing of it all, though, really, after all that went on, and then the hospital released this. And Piers not the only one making the comparisons to that sort of feverish mm. speculation uh, that the former Princess of Wales, Diana, mm. experienced, Ingrid Seward as well, talking about this having that awful feeling of running out of control that it did in those weeks before the prince, the Diana, Princess of Wales, uh, died in Paris in 1997, that the, the, the level of speculation and intrusion uh, into her life. I was reading a, uh, a piece this morning about the kind of conspiracy theorists that are doing this, one of the leading ones, the first that started this body double uh, suggestion and theory online is a, a well-known conspiracy theorist who's also claimed that Taylor Swift and George Soros are operating a globalist plot out of a Glasgow museum. Uh, and Let's just put this, that in context. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, but within moments of these kind of theories and these videos being posted on TikTok or wherever else, they are getting millions and millions of views. And it doesn't matter if you go in and debunk them. Of course, that's all feeding the algorithm. And the problem with this is that they're then spreading out. And the more that rational, sane people see these things the more they start to question, well, yep. well, is there something in it? Yeah, absolutely. And then, obviously, them putting out that photo that had been doctored, mm -hmm. it wasn't exactly going to help things, was it? But um, I want to move on to another story now. The Royals have placed a job advert for a communications assistant. I mean... It Timing have, is everything. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? I've applied. Have you? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think you'd the accept timing, a job for that much. Can they afford think, you, Jeremy? Is, is that a week? It, the timing <laughs> is just extraordinary. I read that this was like, so oh. does this mean someone's lost their job? Well, or you, you, that, that's it. a great point, of course. Or is it they've they messed need... up so much, somebody's gone. Yeah? They need extra I mean, extra this is help. a fairly junior role they're advertising for. It's a communications assistant working within the communications mm -hmm. office, which comes under the private secretary. It's no £25,000 a year. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously, uh, one of the criteria that is noted in the uh, job description is an eye for detail, which <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think is pretty crucial. You and they may have been reminded it. of that over the Why don't you weeks. apply and see if you get an interview? I think that would be brilliant. I don't think they'd let me anywhere near. No, they wouldn't, because I'd drink. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting one, the, the timing. Um, also, one of the things that sort of come out as well, um, we were both saying, and we do actually totally agree on this, um, I said this the other day and everybody went, yeah, I wanted William to be a bit more front and centre, mm. sticking up for Catherine. I'm being completely honest. I wanted him to come out with a statement. I know he said the other day when he was out about, oh, I want my wife to be here. Mm. I know how much family means to him. And, and I don't expect you to put yourself in a difficult mm. position, but that's not an outrageous thing for me to say, is it? No, and... and uh he has a tendency to kind of want to shut down yep. in these scenarios. Sure. And, and I think, you know, there may be a lot of anger. There, this may also be quite triggering for him because we talked about the kind of echoes of what his mother uh, went through. And I think his protectionist instinct is to sort of hunker down and not want to say anything. And I don't know how long they can hold out yeah. Uh, with that, but very much protective over his wife and those three children as well, trying to give them as normal a life as possible when, you know, their bubble that they tried to create in Windsor has very much been burst over the past few months. I wonder if that's 
learning from what happened to Harry as well, because remember within a few days of it being announced that he was dating Meghan, a lot of the press coverage around that, Harry came out with a statement, didn't he, sort of defending his now wife, then girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And that didn't necessarily go down particularly well, but it was good to see kind of that show of protection. It also happened partner. very early on in William and Kate's relationship. Yeah. I think it was her 21st birthday yeah. when she had to run the gauntlet of the photographers by her flat in, in Chelsea, and they were very uncomfortable. For what both of them, of let's be perfectly frank, it's just not to do, do anything other than tell the truth. If for both of them, it would trigger what happened oh, to their God. mothers yeah. without any shadow of a doubt. To your partner, um, a partner who d wasn't born into the monarchy, it must, yeah, the, the, the echoes are... Uh, I, I just, I, I, I've said it, Sarah, repeatedly, I think she is the future of the British monarchy and I want her healthy and back as soon as possible because I think um, the monarchy with Kate Middleton in it is a far better option.